Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Ash vs. Evil Dead, Eligos, Demon of the Mind. Eligos is also the last figure that we're having a look at. Well, not technically last, but it's the last figure that Spot's picked up. Haven't had a chance to pick up the blue shirted Ash yet. But this comes to us from the Stars original series, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Fantastic show. Back of the package, the other figures available. There is uh, the two variations of Ash. Uh, of course, a read-up says Ash vs. Evil Dead follows Ash, the stock boy, aging Lothario, and Chainsaw Handed Monster Hunter, who has spent the last 30 years avoiding responsibility, maturity, and the terrors of the Evil Dead. When a deadite plague threatens to destroy all of mankind, Ash is finally forced to face his demons, personal and literal. Destiny, it turns out, has no plans to release the unlikely hero from his evil grip. To check out more from the folks over at NECA Toys, make sure you head over to www.necaonline.com. Spot's going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Ash vs. Evil Dead, Elagos, Demon of the Mind. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. In regards to his accessories, Elagos comes with none. And actually, the stand that you're looking at is actually my stand. I'm just using it so I can actually get him to properly stand. Because he has a tough time standing. And the culprit is just because the clever design that Elagos has. The lower leg portion has completely been shattered and bent. As you can see with the protruding bone that's sticking out from the back portion of its leg. It actually then shortens the figure as well from a, a much more towering presentation that it would have had. Its design is creepy and very cool. Uh, let's have a look at the closer look at Eligos here. Uh, for the most part, he uh, appears more a blinded character, almost that of... It almost looks like a baby mole. If you've ever seen like moles uh, when they're first born, they're gross looking things. But it kind of reminds me of that. And the only areas that are protruding is the area of its jaw where it's got these extra little tendrils, these little extra bones that are piercing out from the bottom of its chin portion. And then it's got these fangs, uh, just a grotesque looking specimen. Uh, on the side, there's all these little gnawed away portions of its, well, if the equivalent of its face, which also carries over to the back as well with, with this blood just cascading down the back portion of the body. Uh, I do like the design, although it does make for this, the figure to stand awkwardly. There's really not a lot of footing, uh, really, with the, the legs themselves. You can bend the legs as well but that makes only for dis for standing the figure even more difficult as there's there's a posable, not a knuckle joint, but like a an ankle joint, if you will, um, at the back section of the, the legs, but it does make things even more difficult for getting him to stand properly. You can kind of get him somewhat balanced onto the hand feet that he's got, but again, it doesn't stand the greatest. Uh, you can kind of get it, and I'm actually surprised I've got it standing right now. Maybe, maybe the gods will be smiling down on me and I can get him to properly stand for the rest of this review. I feel, yeah, see, I've, I've pushed myself, I feel too much with expectation. Uh, displaying him actually next to the likes of another Ash figure, for example, uh, there is Ash from uh, Value Stop. It's roughly about the same height. Eligos might be just a little bit taller, and then when you factor in the, the additional ankle articulation, he's a lot taller. Granted, again, to get him stand, a little bit more difficult. A much more leaner figure as well, by compared to, to the little more portly, <coughs> portly Ash. I love the wetness as well that NECA has incorporated into the blood, looking as if it has just poured out from these little open gash wounds. The only areas that I would critique uh, are the areas around the the section beyond the, the somewhat quasi-feet and the section beyond the hands. The red 
comes across much more as a darker red versus the more vibrant red of the hands that also have a more wet look to it versus the more matted look of the arms. That would be about the only gripe I could make about it. Again, the same with the back portion of the leg. It's a little bit darker of a red versus the vibrant red uh, that is on the, the, the feet or hands, so to speak. Uh, I love the also the piercing black, stark black nails that are on the, the red. It, it's a vibrant figure, despite the fact that really the majority of the figure is a very muted pastel blue. Uh, when it comes to his posability, Elagos does have a ball joint in the head. Uh, you can't really tip the head too far back beyond that point, but it does have a lower arch as well as a rotation left and right. You could really ro rotate the head all the way around. Uh, the arms, stiffer, yes, but they do hinge out. A rotation all the way around on the arms. A bend, a single bend in the elbow, a rotation there as well. And he also has a rotation, or it has a rotation also via ball joints in the hands. And you got lots of motion and movement there as well. The legs are about the only thing that I would also criticize from a posability standpoint. The legs are very difficult to move. Uh, a lot of its uh, lower portion does sit so low on the figure that moving the leg further back is completely missing. You cannot bend the, the legs any further back than what you see here. You can move them forward slightly, but they are just really stiff to really do anything with them. The lower, the, the section basically from the knee down does bend backwards, as well as you have that rotation uh, forward and back. And then when you get to that ankle, let's call it, let's just stick with an ankle. Uh, the ankle is on a ball joint, and then there's also a, a secondary ball joint or hinge joint uh, on the, the individual hand feet. From a design standpoint, Elagos is a breathtaking figure. It's just, I love different takes on figures, different character designs, where it's not just the norm. When you get outside the norm and you get something like this, that's a pretty cool figure. Translating that, a character to figure can be a little bit more difficult. Elagos transitions fairly decently, although getting the stand sometimes can be a little difficult. Uh, if you're fans of Evil Dead, certainly of the new Evil Dead series, definitely would suggest Elagos. Just be more aware that displaying him can be a little difficult. Uh, certainly if you can get like a waist clip or like a standee going that way, all the more reason uh, to pick this guy up. Today's Toy Spot, we were continuing our looks at the Ash vs. Evil Dead. This was Elagos. Elagos. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's got more videos. He does. More videos are heading your way soon. As always, thanks for watching. As you always do, I'll see you next time. <laughs>